Hey there, today I'm gonna to do a video talking about how to clear um, marcons and other resistant bacteria from the sinuses. So this often happens after exposure from a leak or water damage building or a house that also has mold. Um, marcons is a specific type of staff that often co-inhabitates um, in houses where there's mold damage. So for starters, you wanna use water that is reverse osmosis water or distilled water that you buy at the store so it's definitely clear of any amoebas or bacteria or anything that would actually harm the sinuses right and so then you boil the water and what i do is i add the boiling hot water directly into the neti pot and i fill mine up about two-thirds of the way up so that it can kind of cool down while I'm waiting for it to cool down, I add one packet of salt. This one is, um, let's see, it has a little bit of sodium bicarb, but it's mostly sodium chloride. This is just the Target brand, but you can use whatever normal saline you find. So this is a saline packet. We're making a normal concentration today. So I add the entire packet into the neti pot, and then um, if we're talking about trying to kill bacteria or marcons or even E. coli in the sinuses, we like to use biocidin. It is a combination of different herbs, very, very, very low alcohol content, so it should not burn the sinuses. And many people start with just two drops in the entire neti pot. It's very strong, so we just count as, it drop, it's, as it's dropping, we count one, two, right? If that's too strong though, so then you wait for it to cool, you use the neti pot on one side, breathe through the mouth, use about half, wait five minutes, bend over, touch your toes, do some inversions so that the saline actually gets to the back of the sinuses, and then do the other side. If you do one side and then immediately do the other right after, you often end up with pressure in the ears, in the inner ears. So don't do it that way. Do one side, do about half the neti pot on one side, breathe through the mouth, tilt the head, wait, bend over, touch your toes, gently blow, wait five minutes and then do the other side. So that's one option, but if that burns because it's too strong, you can instead get yourself a plastic syringe. This is a 12 milliliter plastic syringe from the pharmacy. And you can do one drop of biocidin in a whole mason jar of saline. So do the math. So this one holds, this mason jar holds about five neti pots full of water. So first I filled it up with the boiling water, then I added the five packets of salt to this. Then as it got cooler, because you never want to add herbs to boiling water, as it started to cool down, then I added the one drop of biocidin. So it's diluted, it's really only one fifth of a drop. And then what you do is when it's time to use it, kind of swirl and then put your syringe in the middle and pull up solution and actually use the syringe as your neti pot. And if you put, keep this in the fridge with the lid on it, you can pull it out and actually warm it um, on the, like in a saucepan or on the stove when you're ready to use it the next time. So you have five days worth ready. So with the syringe, just like the neti pot, you tilt to the side, breathe through the mouth, place it in one nostril and then gently push. And sometimes this actually feels better for people than using the neti pot because with the neti pot, you're relying on gravity. With the syringe, you can actually push it through a little bit faster and sometimes that actually helps to release some of these biofilms, fungus, bacteria that are living in the back of that ethmoid or in the back of the um, sphenoid sinus there. Um, of course, we're also getting these maxillary sinuses Frontal is a little bit more challenging up here, and that's why you should bend over, touch your toes, do inversions, um, do the best you can to get the medicine back there. So that's the biocidin. Use it for E. coli, for marcons, for Klebsiella, whatever is found on culture that is sensitive to this herbal formula.